Hello everybody, my name is Emanuele. I'm currently the main developer and maintainer of the Ida Siesta package. Uh, before starting, I want to acknowledge uh, the work of many other people that contributed to this project. First of all, Alberto Garcia, who is supervising my work in the Institute of Material Science in Barcelona, and Vladimir Dikan, who is working with us. Then there is Paul uh, Febrer, that recently contributed with a very useful workflow and uh, his PhD student EICN2, the Institute of uh, Nanoscience and Nanotechnology here in Barcelona. Then finally, there is Victor Manuel Garcia Suarez, who is now a faculty in the uh, University of Oviedo and actually started the entire project back in 2018. As you can imagine from the name, AIDA Siesta is the connection between the AIDA framework you are discovering in these days and the siesta code. Actually, with the name siesta, we refer to both a method that is described in this paper and its implementation, so the siesta code. Uh, the siesta code allows to perform electronic structure calculation and ab initio molecular dynamics, and is suitable for both molecules and uh, solids. Siesta uh, acts within the Consham DFT framework and uses pseudo potential. But uh, most of all, it uses a basic set of strictly localized atomic orbital. So the wave functions are expanded over localized atomic orbitals. This leads to uh, several advantages. The first one is the uh, possibility of calculating the Hamiltonian and overlap matrices in order and operations, which is a very efficient way and opens up the possibility of treating large systems. The second advantage is the flexibility, because there's no upper limit or lower limit to the number of atomic orbitals one can include in the basis, and this leads uh, a, uh, a, uh, a very flexible way to uh, tune accuracy and cost. So we can go from very quick exploratory calculation to high accurate calculation that can match the quality of other methods like plane wave. Moreover, uh, Siesta provides some uh, post-processing tools. Some of them are internal to the Siesta code itself. So for instance, we can request in the input of Siesta the calculation of bands of the density of state and so on. And this is gonna produce a, uh, an additional file. Uh, but also we have some external script that can post-process, for example, the wake function of siesta or the Hamiltonian to get some useful physical quantities. Regarding the AIDA siesta package, it is an open source uh, code, so it's available on GitHub here. The docs is uh, the documentation in the read the docs and the latest, latest version requires AIDA core uh, equal or bigger than 1.2.0. Uh, regarding the installation, as we are still in development, we suggest to git clone from the source code and uh, uh, though we are gonna release uh, very soon uh, on PyPy a new version as well. There is a paragraph explaining uh, the package in uh, this very recent paper uh, that is a, a, an overview of the, of, of the code, of the Siesta code. Our package comes with uh, two calculation plugins, one from the main Siesta code and one for a post process tool uh, that calculates the STM images. Then we have two data types in addition to the AIDA data types that are uh, for the management of pseudo potential in the PSML and PSF form. Moreover, we have uh, five workflows and what we call a protocol system that I'm gonna explain later. Regarding the capabilities, uh, our package full, is fully flexible in accepting Siesta inputs, so it's able to run all the uh, operations that the Siesta code can perform. Of course, the inputs are passed through AIDA data structure. Here I put a list of, of the many most important uh, inputs and the relative uh, AIDA structure on top. Uh, in particular, we have these parameter and basis that are dictionary that accept directly uh, the Siesta input keywords, and this is the reason why we are fully flexible in run all the possible options of the Siesta code. 
uh, therefore the only limitation we have is uh, on the quantity we can parse and the support on the external post processing tool at the moment we can parse the energies the total spin the relaxed structure the electronic bands and also we have a support for this plstm code which is a post process tool that generates stm imaging from the local density of state in any case it's always possible to retrieve entire files, store them in the database as single data file and press process them locally. What I described so far is basically just another way to run SESTA calculation with the plus of uh, uh, obtaining the AIDA capabilities, so the possibility of storing inputs and outputs in the database, maintaining the provenance and also exploiting the, the, the feature of the AIDA structures. For example, the electronic bands are stored in this band data uh, data type that makes the plotting of the bands and the post process very easy. Uh, this is, however, not the only uh, uh, feature of the, our plugin. In fact, uh, we uh, provide some tools that we think can be useful for any person who wants to use uh, Siesta. Uh, the first one of these tools is the Siesta base work chain that adds robustness in Siesta calculation. In fact, is able, Siesta base work chain is able to detect some common failure of Siesta, like the long convergence of the geometry of the self consistent field or some basis uh, specification problems, and then deals automatically with this problem. So, restarts the calculation automatically without intervention of, of the user. The way we submit uh, the CSTA based word chain is the uh, common way that uh, AIDA uh, provides. So, just through this uh, submit function where we pass the word chain and then the list of inputs. Here, this list of inputs are the one I showed you before, so the key points, the structure, and so on. A second tool we have is the convergence workflow. Every time we start the study on a new system, it's always good to test the, uh, the reliability of the parameters we are using, making convergency tests. Here, I, I want just to show how we uh, created a very easy interface to help the, uh, the, the user to make this convergency test. We have this uh, Siesta Converger, which is a work chain, so it's submitted as any other work chain in AIDA and that gets here again all the inputs, all the Siesta inputs, so the one I showed you before. Then there is this iterate over, which is a dictionary that contains the quantity we want to change and the values of this quantity we want to test. Then there is the target, so the quantity we want to check to decide whether we reach convergence or not. In this case, we have the Conchamp energy and also a threshold uh, for, for this uh, target quantity. Another tools we have is what we call more scientific workflow that are simple work chains that calculate some uh, very basic uh, physical quantity. So for example, we have a band gap work chain that calculates the bands and in case of non-metallic system, the band gap. Then there is the equation of state fixed cell shape that perform seven uh, siesta calculation uh, uh, seven uh, equidistant volumes and then perform the Birch, Birch morning and fit on the uh, energy versus volume data to obtain the equilibrium volume and the bulk modulus and then we have the siesta stm work chain which is the only work chain that actually calls two different codes in fact this work chain runs first a siesta calculation to attain the local density of state and then calls the PLSTM external post-process tool to uh, obtain STM images. And here we have an example of what kind of images we can obtain. Finally, we have what we call the protocol system. The protocol system is a system to suggest input of workflows. So far, when I presented all the workflows, there was always the uh, need to pass the inputs of the of the workflow. So what I, I specified before, so the key points, uh, the parameters, the basis, and so on. In our package, we also 
uh, provide a way to, to obtain suggested input starting from a structure and a protocol which is simply a, a string. Uh, so this is done through this input generator property that is attached to every word chain in our system. So here I use the SESTA based word chain as an example but all these word chains are well as an input generator and the input generator errors a method get field builder that return a builder that is ready to be submitted. A builder is uh, uh, an AIDA concept that you should be uh, familiar with. It's just a facilitator uh, for the creation of uh, inputs of a, a certain work chain. The difference here is that we don't obtain a builder that is empty and needs to be filled, but is already filled. Uh, so it's ready to be submitted. Um, here the get field builder that uh, returns the field builder uh, needs a structure in input, uh, a calc engine's uh, dictionary that just uh, contains the code and resources we want to use and this protocol string. This protocol string is meant to summarize a uh, choice of input and uh, to offer a desired balance of f accuracy and efficiency. We provide in the package uh, two protocols that are standard and stringent that are two different levels of accuracy of, uh, of input. However, the system allows to create your own protocol. So you have a, a category of material and you know that there are some standard input that you know they are working, you can create your own protocol and have it available. Uh, the builder that is returned from to get field builder is not stored. So uh, anyway, the user can always change some input before submitting, leaving anyway full flexibility. To the entire process. So I hope I show you that uh, in our AIDA Siesta package, in addition to the AIDA capabilities, we offer some useful tool that we hope can be uh, very valuable for everyday research because it, they help to uh, perform repetitive tasks that are necessary during the research process. In the future, what we want to do is to add more parsed quantity, starting from the density of state and the Mulliken population, and of course support more points processing script. Uh, the first one we, we want to add is a, a tool to plot projection of the wave function. This concludes uh, my talk already. I want to thank the sponsor of, of the package. Uh, first of all, the Max uh, a European project that directly is sponsoring the development, then the uh, Spanish government that through uh, different grant uh, through the years supported us, and the Marvel uh, Swiss National uh, Research uh, uh, Project. Uh, with this, uh, I conclude. Uh, of course, if you have any question, don't hesitate I, to contact me. My email is uh, uh, down here. Thank you.